Oh, good evening and welcome to Titusville Rocket Wrestling. Tonight at the launch pad, the Titusville Rockets will host the Commodore Perry Panthers. And we welcome you into our broadcast this evening, made possible by these great sponsors. By Anderson Physical Therapy. By The Barking Lot. By Interstate Pipe and Supply. By Armstrong. By Oil Creek Plastics. By Community Connect Federal Credit Union. By Dr. Timothy Brooks. By State Farm Insurance. By the Meadville Medical Center, Titusville Area Hospital. By Donovan and Bauer Auto Group. By Wagner's Gun Tech. By Hilltop Discount Grocery. By Titusville Market Square. By Big G Tire and Auto. And by Shago Real Estate. And once again, we welcome you to the launch pad for tonight's matchup between the Rockets and the Panthers. We bring in our announcers tonight, Jim Bodemer and Mr. Pat Nosco. Good evening, guys. How are you? Ah, pretty good, Luke. It's kind of a crazy evening, though. We'll talk about that as we go along here a little bit. But uh, uh, we're looking forward to a really good match tonight. Pat and I have been able to sit out here talking about uh, all the stuff that's been going on. Kind of an unusual evening um, Luke, in that uh, there's no middle school wrestling and there's no JV match, so we're going to start right off at the top of the list with the uh, varsity matches. So uh, that, that kind of sets the stage a little bit different for us here this evening, but uh, nonetheless, it's going to be a, a really good match. Uh, and Pat, uh, we're going to be up against the Panthers of Commodore Perry. Uh, these are two schools historically have had good wrestling for a long time. Don't expect anything different tonight. It's going to be pretty good. It should be a pretty good night. Uh, they've both had some wins and losses in their past. Um, they were both competitive against um, Reynolds and Greenville. Mm -hmm. um, not really Reynolds. They both had about the same outcome with the Reynolds Raiders. Uh, but, but everybody does. But everybody has. <laughs> so it should be a really good match tonight. Um, you know, and some of that may come down to the coaching tonight with bumping kids around. I don't know what they have in plan planned out you know when you start looking at kids records and who should win against who and what happens if you start bumping people up a weight uh, you know can you make a difference there uh, and really change the outcome of the of the match that's always the interesting part of the whole thing for me is watching this in wrestling swimming and track we've talked about it in the previous matches we've done uh, how the coaches can manipulate that lineup for a team concept uh, as well as, of course, individual. So, uh, yeah, that, you're right. That'll be an interesting uh, part of the match here this evening. Uh, not too many uh, fans here yet. I'm hoping they'll get in here. It's, uh, we miss the fans, but we're sure glad that you are watching on stream media. It's good to have you with us, and uh, you're going to have a lot of fun tonight because this is going to be a good match. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, what you can expect here this evening as the Tassel Rockets host the Panthers of Commodore Perry. Whoever said, it's only a dog, never loved a dog. Our philosophy is simple. We treat every dog as if it were our own. And believe us, we spoil our dogs. When dogs are comfortable, they're happy. The Barking Lot in Titusville is ready to make your dog happy by offering grooming services, daycare, and boarding. Call today to schedule an appointment, or better yet, stop in and discover a stranger, crazier, quirkier group of dog lovers at the Barking Lot in Titusville. Your Armstrong services are more important than ever. There are more and more connected devices in the home these days. To get the most out of your experience, you need a network that is always getting better. You deserve superior performance, and that's what Armstrong offers every day. Whether you're working from home, enjoying your favorite content together, or simply catching up while apart, count on Armstrong to keep you connected to what matters most. Community Connect Federal Credit Union is here for you. In a world of uncertainty, isn't it nice to know some things haven't changed? Like Community Connect's commitment to their members and community. We are here to help you save, plan, invest, grow, and sometimes move forward into new opportunities or adventures. Community Connect FCU has many options available and becoming a member is pretty easy. Stop in, call, or visit our website at communityconnectfcu.com and click join to get started. Community Connect Federal Credit Union, 1050 East Spring Street, Titusville. 
Whether you're a hunter, sports shooter, or collector, you'll want to come in and check out Wagner's Gun Tech. Wagner's Gun Tech is located on State Highway 27, just outside of Titusville. Wagner's carries a great selection of quality guns, ammunition, gun safes, and more. Wagner's Gun Tech also buys, sells, and trades guns. They also offer professional gunsmithing and appraisal. Wagner's friendly, knowledgeable staff can help you find what you're looking for. Call them at 814-775-0688 or stop into Wagner's Gun Tech. Open Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, Saturdays 10 to 4. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a house, land, farm, or commercial property in and around Titusville, Franklin, Oil City, and surrounding areas, you've come to the right place. ShagoRealEstate.com. 25 plus years of real estate sales meet state-of-the-art technology. We use 3D imaging to produce 3D virtual tours used on social media and MLS virtual tour links. And we're also a U-Haul neighborhood dealer. We're Shago Real Estate LLC. Interstate Pipe and Supply means that when we say service means business. With a knowledgeable staff, full fleet of trucks, and large product offering, we can answer your questions and fill your orders, big job or small. Covering multiple applications and industries, we're not just a plumbing location, but a one-stop shop assisting homeowners and contractors quickly and efficiently. We are locally owned and make it our number one priority to keep our customers returning and happy. We have been a staple in the Titusville community for 40 plus years. Stop in today and let us service you. Good luck to the Titusville Rockets this year. And welcome back to the launch pad for tonight's matchup between the Rockets and the Commodore Perry Panthers. That's a mouthful, but we'll get through it tonight. Uh, Pat, for you, uh, Rockets were in action on uh, Monday. Uh, they've had a busy couple weeks. They have. They've done really well in the last couple weeks, too. Um, you know, they ended up uh, on Monday, they wrestled Lakeview. They won that 42-6. Uh, to six. Uh, and then last Thursday, they beat Sheffield 46 to 20. Uh, they've had a couple of really good nights showing up, uh, a lot of good wrestling. Uh, today, the PIAA uh, team duels got announced. Uh, so instead of a, I believe they were scheduled for a tri meet in Fort LaBeouf on Saturday. Uh, Titusville uh, is the fourth seed, so they'll pull the number one seed and get to wrestle at Reynolds on Saturday at 1 o'clock for the team duels. That's so. going to make an interesting uh, opening, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, up against one of the best around. One of the best, the uh, team that won uh, state team duels last year uh, and, you know, very likely could do that again this year. So not a great pick for... Um, Titusville to get, but um, when everything works out and people opt out and move things around, this is where you end up. Um, the last couple of matches, the Titusville kids have uh, looked better and better each night um, coming along. Um, you know, it, it's amazing when you look at like the Lakeview and Sheffield, uh, Greenville, Warren, all these schools are all about the same numbers. None of them are the, you know, a lot of they're missing a few kids. Each each team's missing a few kids. It seems like, I guess I'm going to blame COVID for everything, but the numbers are down. Um, they've gotten a lot fewer fewer matches in this year. You know, when you look at, they usually start with a few things before Christmas. Uh, Titusville has traditionally gone to Williamsport, and you know, most kids get at least three. You know, guaranteed two, but a lot of them get three and four matches. Uh, plus a couple of dual matches. Then you're looking at some of the other tournaments. You know, they usually do the Tool City. They do the Grove City tournament. Um, again, you know, your minimum is two, two matches, but, you know, a lot of kids get more than that and a lot more experience. And all these schools are lacking that this year. Yep. Well, we'll, uh, I'm sure, talk about that throughout the evening. Uh, tonight, the Rockets and the Panthers, the Commodore Perry Panthers. We had them... The other Panthers, what, last week, Pat, with uh, Sagertown. But uh, uh, these are the Commodore Perry Panthers tonight. And uh, looking forward to bringing you that action coming up in just a few moments. This is Titusville Rocket Wrestling on stream television. We'll be back right after this time.
that I'm married. It doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis? Hey, do they ever ask you what you're wearing? Uh, yeah. Red sweater, button-down shirt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. When it comes to your rehabilitation needs, you have a say in the kind of care you want to receive. At Anderson Physical Therapy, we are committed to your long-term health and well-being. We don't treat you like a patient, we treat you like a person, discussing your injury or condition and working with you on a game plan to get you back to better health. So stay on top of your game with a friendly and knowledgeable therapist at Anderson Physical Therapy. At Donovan & Bauer Auto Group, we are well into the new year, but we have nine remaining 2020 models that we need to move, and now is your chance to save huge on those units. How about a 2020 Chevy Spark with bonus cash and 0% APR for up to 84 months for qualified buyers? Or maybe you need something bigger, like a 2020 GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive with over $7,800 off MSRP, priced at $36,740 after all qualifying offers. When you have the time, we invite you to find new roads and visit us on Rowdy North and Titusville or shop online at donovanandbauer.com. Exceptional care. That is what our team of compassionate experts at Titusville Area Hospital Orthopedics will provide. Whether you're experiencing aches and pains or have suffered from significant injury, we are here for you. Board certified orthopedic surgeon Michael Dvorkin is highly experienced in treating all orthopedic and sports medicine conditions. No matter what the treatment may be, you can trust that we'll be here for you every step of the way helping you get back to the life you enjoy. Learn more about our exceptional orthopedic care at titusvillehospital.org. Attention local shoppers. Hilltop Discount Grocery is now open and ready to serve your grocery needs. Okay, it'll seem like you stepped back in time because Hilltop carries all of your essentials like milk, baked goods, fresh produce, ice, and more. Plus, you're greeted with a friendly smile and honest prices. No more long trips to the store when you can just run next door. Hilltop Discount Grocery, South Main Street in beautiful Pleasantville, Pennsylvania. For a unique shopping experience with great gift ideas, decor, and so much more, come check out what Titusville Market Square's nearly 100 vendors have to offer. Featuring unique items from local agribusiness, craftsmen, and vendors, we also offer products from four regional dairies, including a full line of Titusville dairy products. We carry a complete line of Amish wedding products, local honey, and maple syrup, as well as nostalgic dog and suds root beer and Fiestata pizzas. Don't forget to pick up fresh Clark's donuts delivered daily. Titusville Market Square, the new name in one-stop shopping. For 48 years, Oil Creek Plastics has provided quality, service, and integrity to their customers and community. Their talented and committed employees strive to deliver to their clients the best products that are American-made. In that spirit, our high school athletes show commitment to their school and community, excelling at every event. In these times of uncertainty, community comes together. Oil Creek Plastics is proud to support the Titusville Rockets and continue traditions that are made in the USA. Hospital Partners, Meadville Medical Center and Titusville Area Hospital together provide a continuum of high quality care across Crawford County. Both create the ultimate patient experience. Every patient, every time. Meadville Medical Center and Titusville Area Hospital are more than a hospital. We are a hospital partner, a community partner, a family partner, and a health partner. Tired of waiting days to get tires? At Big G Tire and Auto, most of the time they can have your tires ordered and delivered within the same day. Randy knows tires, but did you know Big G can also handle state inspections? In fact, if you purchase a vehicle at Donovan and Bauer Auto Group, your free state inspections will be honored at Big G. They'll also gladly inspect your vehicle if you purchased it elsewhere. For rust avert undercoating, state inspections, and most name brand tires, Big G Tire and Auto can handle it all on the Hightown Road in Titusville.
And welcome back to the launch pad for tonight's matchup between the Rockets and the Panthers tonight. Jim, Pat, should be an exciting match tonight. It should be a very good one. Uh, we're really looking forward to this. Uh, we haven't seen him for a little while. Pat uh, mentioned they wrestled Monday with uh, Lakeview. Mm -hmm. And uh, tonight's going to be uh, a lot of fun to watch. The thing that's getting nice now, Pat, is we're getting down to crunch time. Uh, everything's important from here on out. Conditioning, uh, skills, everything comes into play because we're getting towards regions. And uh, so the, the kids are really working hard right now to get prepared for that. And this season's not allowing them a lot of practice time. I mean, they're, you know, once they got going, they have been, you know, a couple matches each each week, and, you know, that cuts cuts down. And usually, you know, towards the tail end of the season, they start going one match a week, gives them a little more time to practice, refine some skills. This is really, you know, it's going to be a different postseason for uh, a lot of these kids when they get up there and wrestle and trying to figure things out, you know, um, having that lack of mat time and lack of time seeing their other opponents, um, it really changes how some of these kids may look in the postseason. Now when you get to, uh, to the regions, having not gone through the tournaments and, and seen some of these kids, uh, are you going to be a little bit, as a wrestler, will you be a little bit more attentive as to the match coming up, the, the com possible opponent, and, and maybe watching, scouting, so to speak? Yeah, I, I think it, it's a big thing. I think especially for, uh, like Titusville, they're going to be a younger team. They haven't had that experience of some of these tournaments. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of Titusville Rocket Sports on Stream TV. Commodore Perry, either Hunter Geibel or Ben Thomas. Titusville will forfeit. At 113 for Commodore Perry, either Hunter Geibel or Ben Thomas. For Titusville, Trent Rogers. At 120 for Commodore Perry, Gage. Gilmore, Titusville will forfeit. At 126 for Commodore Perry, Wyatt Lazar, and for Titusville, Landon Wolfkill. At 132 for Commodore Perry, Zane Grinnell, and for Titusville, they will forfeit. At 138 for Commodore Perry, Ashton Armagos, and for Titusville, Nate Stearns. At 145 for Commodore Perry is Colton Heater, and for Titusville, either Hayden Warner or Mason Titus. At 152, Commodore Perry will forfeit for Titusville, Brock Koval. At 160 for Commodore Perry, Clayton Smith, and for Titusville, Caleb Brunts. At 172 for Commodore Perry, Gage Musser, and for Titusville, Hunter Titus. At 189 for Commodore Perry is Johnny Rogers, and for Titusville, Sebastian Titus. At 215 for Commodore Perry is Hunter Yeager, and for Titusville, they will forfeit. At 285 for Commodore Perry, Rory 
McTie or Ethan Fritz, and for Titusville, Lodge Nosco. Tonight's match will begin at 189. Titusville is coached by Joel Stearns and assisted by Kurt Lederber and Joe Snyder. The Panthers are coached by Ed Varner and assisted by Ryan Grinnell. Oh, there you have it, guys. Well, that should be a good one. Uh, your most thing to me, I was looking for it. I'd like to watch Brock Colville. Uh, I've been very impressed with his uh, aggressiveness and so on. So uh, I see he's forfeit. Uh, nobody wrestled tonight. You're talking about moving people around. Uh, that's certainly a possibility here. You can bump some people down and, and not, um, uh, not lose that. Yeah. That's um, the experience for Brock. But then again, that's the coaching decision there. You know, he's and right now is the key match to start that. You know, you're looking at um, if he's going to bump Sebastian up and then bump everybody up and um, put Mason into that lineup, to, um, you know. It's going to be difficult. It's got to be difficult. You got to make a lot of coaching decisions, and you and know. sometimes uh, I would think. You, know, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, Pat. But sometimes you make the decision not necessarily what's best for the team in this sport, but also what's best for the individual wrestler. So you may, by bumping them up, you may be doing your athlete a disservice. Uh, yeah, you're so. definitely giving up some weight when you start bumping kids up. You're giving up some weight and making some changes. So that's a hard thing to do um, and it can affect kids records and where they get placed in the tournaments and things. Um, you know, that's it's a decision that doesn't come lightly because then you have parents that are upset that their kids got <laughs> bumped up and, you know, they could have won if they stayed down. Um, but when you're looking at the team points for your standings for the for an area, you know, you got to make some of those decisions. Okay, we have uh, Jonathan Rogers from uh, Commodore Perry and Sebastian Titus for Titusville 189 is where we're starting. And shot in, Sebastian sprawled back pretty good and he's in pretty good position right now. Um, this Rogers each, boy looks uh, a little lankier, a little pretty strong looking you know, young man. Yeah. Trying to get some position here. Neither one of them's in a great position. Sebastian needs to. Oh, uh, Sebastian did not do that quite where he should have. He kind of got the raw end of that deal rolled out. Well, he's um, got a long way to go, too. He's got a long way to go, but I think he's trying to roll him through. No. Well, he's got him. Sebastian's not in good position there. Yeah, got himself a little bit of trouble there. And. Uh, Once you get that lock in like that, a headlock like that, um, young man had a pretty good strength on it, and he really uh, uh, you can, squeezed it down. You can squeeze it pretty good. Um, you know, a lot of kids do not come out of that headlock very well. Okay, now we're looking at uh, 215, and uh, uh -huh. interesting. Well, it looks like they're not doing a 215 tonight. Just jumping ahead. Jumping ahead, and I thought they had to bring somebody out at 15. Though I would have thought they would have had to bring him out, so they must not have. Up 285, and this, I'm not sure who this is for Commodore Perry. And this might be their 215 out here. Could be. And like I said, you you know, make that decision to bump. Oh, this could be a this problem. Could, this could be a problem for this young man right here. Lodge is a little high on that. He needs to reposition back a little bit and get that shoulder down, keep his weight on him, and just wait them, no, wait won't. for nature there to take its him. course here. Oh. There he's got it locked in. So Lodge pulls off the pin. That helps a lot. That helps a lot. I'm not sure where their 215 went to or if that was you know it's hard to tell with some of these kids a who's who certainly i was uh, the reason i was motioning to you there before that lodge come out there I, the officials were coming over i wonder if they're going to make an adjustment uh, well each school has to send out at a certain time uh every other every other bout that way you okay. know you Titusville first, then the next weight is Commodore first. Correct. That way, in case coaches are going to bump, 
you know, you have a designated person coming out. Um, because sometimes you wait, uh, schools will mess up, they'll send out a really good kid, and the other team will say, nah, we're going to pass on that one and send them out for the next wait. Interesting point. Did not know that. Um, we're at uh, 106, who's a forfeit to uh, Commodore Perry. Hunter Geibel will win that, and uh, I'm assuming this might be either Geibel or Kamas. I'm not sure. Uh, It'll be Rogers for Titusville, Trenton Rogers for Titusville. Twelve six is the bout score as we are now. Uh, that would be Hunter Biden or Hunter, Hunter Geibel that's out Hunter there. Hunter Geibel's now. out there now. Okay. So we just it. had to get some help from the opposing team here to. Well, anyway. They bounce some kids around um, a little bit, so that helps a lot to have somebody there. <laughs> that knows them that can tell us who's who. And this is a whole different, whole different speed than the heavyweights here. I was just gonna going to say the same thing. <laughs> a little quicker out there. <laughs> uh, and they bounce down. Oh, up. nice, nice spin. And he did a nice job. That's what Sebastian was trying to do when he got caught. Was he was trying? He was in about the same position, just didn't get around quite the way. Um, Trenton did there. Again, so quiet for a wrestling match. Very quiet. Every one of these matches has been quiet. You know, um, it's la Hi. last week the uh, Lakeview, or earlier in the week, Lakeview had the middle school still here. So how that important is it that uh, we that we have the leg locked? Uh, is that critical it, to what so it, he can't it get is or? he can't get you know when he's getting out front like that he's got that kind of locked up and in, in position so he can turn them and you know it's all all a matter of what what move you're trying to work for and he's trying to you know coach is calling for a tilt um he's got a he's got that bar i thought he had the bar in there but um he kind of worked his arm out. And then they keep battling for that hand control right now. Um, you know, uh, Trent's going to put legs in, trying to see what he can do to get him turned over there. End of the first period, 2 nothing. Titus Hill with the takedown. Interesting. And Hunter's work, or Trenton's worked out, worked his way up. Hasn't gotten the point for the escape yet. He st um, still has control of his inside leg, but it looks like it should be a matter of time right now. He's trying to hip him down, break, break that arm control over his leg. <laughs> well, getting some noise nice. from the coaches. Yeah, getting a little bit in here. They're both in position. This could go a little either way, but I think Trent's a little, he's got a little closer into the position of getting out of this. There, he just broke the arm. There, he got the two. He worked hard for that too there. He certainly did. I didn't Conor want to Perry lose did not want to give that leg up at whatsoever. And this time he's went to uh, riding legs a little bit, see if he can do a little more with that. It is kind of amazing when you get the, the gym there. He's going to, he's Not pretty quite. close to turning them. I'm going to keep working it. As long as he doesn't turn that arm too far. That rough was right there to kind of watch that. That fine line between potentially dangerous and getting them cranked over. Jim, that was your nickname in high school. What's potentially <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that certainly was. From the academic side. <laughs> <laughs> Four nothing, end of two. Trenton up on top. 
I think sometimes Lucas still is. If you ask my wife. This has been a good match. These two have been very evenly paired up. And yeah, this is interesting. You can almost see them out there thinking, what, you know, watching, can I shoot, can I not? Can I go single, double? Feeling them out, seeing what you yeah, can get. Yeah, just see their heads working. Trying to reposition them a little bit, seeing where you can get them to step the wrong way. You know, looking, you know, how they're stepping. And it's hard because... That's a tough call. Yeah. Good thing for the... Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice. That was sweet. That was sweet. I gotta get the half in there. Couldn't get it. He's got him bundled oh, up. Now he's, he's got, got him. him. He's got him bundled up really nice right there. Commodore Perry does not want to give that leg up. He is, he's held on to that. He's been down under trying to hold that leg quite a bit. So he's going to lose it though. He did. Yeah. <clears throat> but he already had the takedown a couple back. That just was, you know. Yeah, it gave him kind of He's kind of stalling in that. You know, he's not really advancing out of it. Um, you know, he's just holding on so he doesn't get turned. And oh, that would be a shame. And that's where some of this we've said before. They're really close, you know, that when you get out in front of them, you're, you know, liable to have them pop their head out and, you know, score a couple points. But still, when you're up eight to two, you know, by eight points. And that and ends that, about eight to two. That was a nice match between That's a good those match. two. And Trenton Rogers will pick up the win for Titusville. And uh, we now go to um, what one twenty, where we'll forfeit. But this is one thing that's hard for Titusville forfeiting some. So many matches that, you know. That makes it difficult, team score-wise. And that'll take us up to 26. It'll be Wyatt Lasner, Lazar for Commodore Perry and uh, Landon Wolfkill for the Rockets. That score is 18 to nine, Commodore Perry. And those first two forfeits and then they'll get another one here next bout that's 18 points is a big deficit to give up he had a nice shot in there coming out the back there this is one of those ones where it's close either way, either way uh -oh. it goes. Yeah. Now he might just cradle him up right here, right to his back. If, uh, Can't get Condor, his leg out. Commodore Perry kind of be now bellied, out, bellied out on that. <laughs> and now and Commodore Perry picks up the two. 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 Still having to fight to keep control of him, though. Landon's doing a nice job trying to get out of that. Well, you mentioned well, there he's got double bars, and this is not a good position to be in. This is trouble. Yeah. Lock the head. Wow. This is a hard position to be in. Wow. Wow, Lazar picks got, up the pin. Well, he got those tied up. That's pretty much over then. It's feel bad for him. His shoulder blades had to be hurting there. Yeah, that was tough.
And this will be a forfeit at 132. Up, oh, they're not sending somebody out for 32. No, they're not. So, so they must want to. So we have to find um, out who it is at 38. We have Ashton Armagos at 38 against Nate Stearns on our sheet. I'm not sure that's what it is, but we'll see. Trying there to get the uh, get the legs, but uh, blocked nicely by Stearns. Who? 24-9 is the team score. Okay. So and they, off the mat, and we'll come back to the center. So they bumped Zane up to wrestle Nate. Okay, Zane Grinnell bumped up. Appreciate their help. And sometimes, you know, when they start bumping people around, it's that coaching decision of where they think they're going to place out best and sometimes getting that experience in for these kids. You know, they don't have many matches this season to get up. Right. Well, you mentioned uh, while we're going our pre-match broadcast. Uh, oh, there we go. Well, we had to drop it. Got the tilt. But you were mentioning how this is going to be a good match. Every match out there this tonight has been very competitive, even yes. though there's been some pins as there. Yeah. But it's uh, uh, both these athletes are well schooled. Yeah. So Grinnell picks up the pin on uh, Nate, and uh, that'll bring us up to Hayden Moore. 45. Looks like it'll be uh, Colton Heater for, well, we don't know. They may move Armagost up. This is Armagost been bumped up, okay. Say one thing about Commodore Perry okay. kids, uh, as a first match I've seen, and you've seen more than I have, that we've wrestled this year, they've been they're very aggressive. Yeah, they're, they're going right after they're you. They're going right after, they're shooting quick off the whistle. Um, you know, they're coming right out and going. No holding off to see what you can do. They're just trying to get things started, so. So this is uh, Ashton Armagos. They've been bumped up. Hayden Warner for Titusville. Now with this team's not really showing it, but the, a lot of the teams we've wrestled this year have had a lot of long hair, you know, kind of. Oh, that was quick. That was quick, got them turned over pretty fast. That and the facial hair changed. Um, the rules changed so that, you know, you're seeing a lot more of that this year than we have in years past. Okay. Mm -hmm. so we go now to Brock Koval. Brock Koval. And I'm 52. assuming this is Heater going out there. So Brock will wrestle. Well, and you can see. Uh, there, Brock's got a good position right into that cradle. It's, it's done. Boy, that was over quick. Now that's a coaching decision there from uh, Commodore Perry side, uh, making that switch there. Yeah. And Brock picks up the quick pin for Titus Hill. Well, I wanted to see him wrestle, but I thought maybe we'd go a little longer. I, yeah. <laughs> I like to watch Brock wrestle. You and did. we go to 52. Now we're up to 60 now. And sometimes you just, as a coach, you like the matchup of you know, your, where your kids are going to match up versus taking a for, letting one of your better kids take a forfeit. Yeah. And, you know. Big decisions when that doesn't go well. 
We have uh, stoppage in action here. Somebody's bleeding. Mm -hmm. We're at uh, 160, and this would be Clayton Smith for Commodore Perry, according to our sheet, and Caleb Brunts for Titusville. They had to clean up the mat. Uh, get a little cotton up the nose and see if they can get that ble bleeding to stop. And A new trend that come into play um, several years ago, blood on the mat thing. Um, I don't recall many moons ago when my buddies were wrestling, whether that was part of our makeup or not on the mats. I, I know they stopped the mat if you had to fix your nose or something, you had a bloody nose, but as far as the washing, washing of the blood and stuff, I don't think that was quite the issue back yeah, I think they just kind of wiped it in and <laughs> called it good. I don't know yeah. how often the mats got cleaned either. <laughs> Again, here these guys are trying to figure each other out a little bit. What's a good position? We were talking to the official before uh, the match. He is out of Jamestown, New York. He wrestles, he referees both New York State and Pennsylvania. It's, and I like to watch their technique of officials. I don't know if you pay much attention to them. I know in basketball, I watch them carefully. Uh, this gentleman is a lot different than some of the officials we've seen. He's uh, he's right there for the pen. Uh, as soon as it's there, oh, nice shoot. It, it's funny because you watch some officials and there there are certain ones I disagree with um, no matter what they do. <laughs> they can't even breathe correctly for me. I, you know, and, oh. you know. That should be a stall. It is. Yeah. I was wondering if he was going to make that call. He was running off the mat. And yeah, and he did. He did. That's, yeah, he did. Sometimes... Depending on your official and it, you know their mm -hmm. their consistency, like we talked about the one match where you know what they're calling out of bounds. I thought it was more with the heavier weights that they were calling that, but he was very consistent on you know where he's calling. And again with the pins tonight, he's quick to get back there, but you know he's when done it's that. there. It's there. Yep. Yep. And he's done that for both teams. Um. End of the first period, one nothing, Titusville. So Titus will start down here, second period. Now, there's another thing the official does to him every time he says step in before they just motion him in. <laughs> just technique, I guess. Style. Oh, yep. Style points. Style, yep. <laughs> And you can hear him, uh, you know, yeah. he he's yeah. a, a vocal ref versus, you know, some of the ones are, you know, the only thing you ever hear is her whistle. And I'm glad the Townsville coaching staff just sits quietly. <laughs> yeah, Joel, ne <laughs> Joel ne <laughs> Joel's very quiet, reserved. Uh -oh. You never get too much out of him. We could be in some problems here. Uh -huh. Pat, what's it been like for you? Uh, obviously, uh, we've been wrestling some schools we – probably wouldn't uh, have in the past uh, so you got to you get to see some different talent out there yeah um, you know and it's different this year uh, missing those tournaments where you got to see you know Tool City you'd have I think a 26 teams at it so you got to see a lot of different kids a lot of different schools coming in you know they used to go to Jamestown or Williamsport Grove City, you got to see a ton of kids from all over. And you would get to see the, all these local guys, too. Um, you know, you're sitting in a gym maybe with, you know, four or five matches going at a time. You know, you're watching kids from, you know, an Altoona kid wrestling a Commodore Perry. Right. You'd be, you'd be cheering for the Commodore Perry kid. You know, you'd you know, back up your home, home area quite a bit. Um, you know, and you got... You got an opportunity to see some of these kids. You get to recognize some of the names. Now it's hard, you know, one-shot deal here. You know, you get to see. We did see Warren twice. Um, these local teams. It's it's I think a better option for the kids to be wrestling local. Um, 
the tournaments though are very nice to get to go to and get that experience in. 172, Greg Musser of uh, Commodore Perry, Hunter Titus of Titusville. I was interested in that last pin. Uh, we were two thirds out of bounds, Titusville boy, Warner, but uh, because of the situation, he didn't call that out of bounds. No. And uh, where's a good takedown? Once it's with his shoulders still being in, yeah. he, yep. he's there. Yep. Now the shoulders can go out a little bit um, if, you know, depending where the rest of the body is. And if you're in a pinning combination, some refs will let you get pretty far out. Oh. And not a good position. Oh, there he's able to pop his arm out a little. Now he's got him locked, locked up. up. Oh, I thought he had him right there. He's not in great position as he's got a lot of time to fight off that, and he's got him locked in there pretty tight. And Musser picks up the pen over there, Titus. I, uh, uh, I've been watching the Commodore Perry kids coming out, and again, nothing in opposed to Titusville kids. Uh, they look like they've spent some time conditioning in weight room, off season type, uh, muscular. Uh, they look strong. So. Yeah, they did. They look strong and in shape. Yeah. Um, one thing this, with these forfeits, it's a quick night, you know. Well, final bow score, 48-15, Commodore Perry. And um, it was what we expected. It was a pretty, uh, both teams aggressive, but uh, Commodore Perry coming out with uh, about six pins and made a huge difference in the bow score. Yeah, you take, you take away that 18 points in uh, forfeits, I mean, it's a 30 to 15. You know, Makes it, a big it, difference. It's a, it? it's, a, it's a much closer match when you get down, get rid of some of those forfeits and, you know, they came out, they shot quick and aggressive and very aggressive team. Yeah, very impressive. Pat, I Did believe it. this is the last home match. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, like I said, their, their next thing will be Saturday in uh, Reynolds and then they will have Cochranton next Monday and then um, I take that back. Um, yeah, uh, Reynolds on Saturday, Cochranton on Monday, and then they will go to um, the sections the following weekend. So the season's kind of wrapping up pretty quick. One more dual meet and uh, team duels. Well, we want to thank uh, coaching staff, Joel Stearns and everybody here at the high school for helping us out. And also the... Uh, Young ladies from Commodore Perry helping us keep up with all these switches and schedule tonight, but uh, it's been a good time. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch now and see how the Townsville boys can, can finish up here, finish strong, get into sections, and see uh, where we can go from there. So, uh, hey, Pat, we want to thank you for joining us this season. It's been fantastic having you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate. I enjoyed coming on. It's been a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, and I'm glad Pat was here because. Uh, they're not double dribbling, Luke. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, we appreciate you as well. And uh, you and I will be back here uh, tomorrow and Friday for, uh, we got girls basketball tomorrow night and boys basketball Friday night. Right. Well, Lake, Lakeview tomorrow for the girls and Oil City on Friday for the boys. Okay, and uh, thanks again once to the Tysler Wrestling Squad and uh, the coaching staff. It's been a lot of fun watching them. Uh, they're a good bunch of kids. They work hard and they're well coached, well trained, and they're well disciplined. And they're fun to watch. Enjoyed it. Well, for our commentators, Jim Bodemer and Pat Nosco, our camera operators tonight, Gavin Griffin and Sam Rio, I'm Luke Rio. Thank you so much for joining us. Rocket Wrestling on Stream TV brought to you by these great sponsors, by Anderson Physical Therapy, by The Barking Lot, by Interstate Pipe and Supply, by Armstrong, by Oil Creek Plastics, by Community Connect Federal Credit Union, by Dr. Timothy Brooks, by State Farm Insurance, by the Meadville Medical Center, Titusville Area Hospital, by Donovan and Bauer Auto Group, by Wagner's Gun Tech, by Hilltop Discount Grocery, by Titusville Market Square, by Big J Tire and Auto, 
and by Shago Real Estate.